Hey, so I'm making this video because um, a lot of people kind of wanted to see what's going on with my moving grave mount and how it works. And it does turn out I do need to make uh, some small repairs and maybe make some improvements because I did have a uh, bolt that was way too long kind of punched through the trash bag. But I think I can, I can fix it. So let me show you how it works and how I did have it set up and maybe some of the stuff that I'm going to do uh, to improve it. Okay. So I have it mounted up a little bit higher than usual, but you can see how I did it here. So uh, just the two motors that um, will be linked uh, in the description uh, when I upload it to YouTube. And I just found whatever I could uh, find um, to attach the PVC to it. So we had a slotted uh, shaft uh, that comes out of these motors and uh, I just drilled a hole through the PVC and then stuck uh, some some of this wire uh, through it and I think this came from those uh, flags that you can put in the ground to mark those markers for your water lines or gas lines or whatever um, and I tried to fill it up uh, just with the gap filler uh, just so I thought when it rotates it would rotate uh, and not uh, jerk around but uh, it has jerked around a little bit, uh, but I think because over the time, some of the weight, uh, it still worked. Uh, but uh, I used, so what is this, half inch? I probably should have used uh, three fourths to maybe one inch to, for a little bit more sturdiness. Uh, so now the, uh, the PVC is not perfectly straight, but you can see I just made a square, just put some L brackets in there to put it together. Very simple, drilled holes, um, and then here I use some carriage bolts and what I did on these guys uh, that carriage bolt right I just did a countersink hole in here and put it through the wood block and then filled it with uh, wood glue uh, just so I would have you know the the end of the bolt coming out um, and then I just put the carriage wheel on top of it and screwed it onto the wood block to make this whole little contraption and just put them in random spots around uh, the PVC and um, as you can tell I only put them at the top or near the top uh, because you know when you push if you're buried alive uh, you're probably not pushing at the bottom near your feet you're kind of pushing up near your chest so that's kind of what I went for and uh, they were much longer and as you can see I think the problems are that uh, I got too long of uh, these carriage bolts and I've been cutting them off and they actually work well and I just now added these uh, screw protectors on top and I think that will work and I'm probably going to do that for every one like this one's still long I still think it will work just fine uh, but I might make it shorter so that's kind of some of the improvement I'm having to make um, I did have uh, I did have first layer just a trash bag on top, followed by this brown tarp, followed by the grave mound and kind of burlap sack that uh, I think you can get off Spirit Halloween just to try to blend it in. But I think what I'm going to do is put a uh, higher grade tarp on first uh, to help maybe protect against these uh, bolts uh, going through. It might be some stronger material. So anyways, um, the good thing about these motors, which I'm going to show, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to turn it on here. Um, by the way, I tied both motors just to the same uh, power supply. So just have one little switch. And as you, since they're not straight anymore uh, due to the weight, they kind of jerk a little bit, but it does the job. So random spots, um, you can tell. I try to only make it come up just a little bit, not very much, because less is more, right? You just, as you can see in the original video, um, it looks better when it's just a little bit of movement. So, and the good thing about this is even if it gets heavy, it still works. Um, these may not be able to go all the way around, but as you can see, when, uh, when this comes around here, I'm going to block it. And when there's too much resistance on it, it will still push up and then it just goes the other way. So you'll still be able to get put over time if the bag becomes a little bit heavy, 
it will still push up a little bit. You'll still see movement and then it'll just alternate and go the other way. So um, that's really nice of this, just, just in case you don't need the full rotation. So that's kind of how it works. I think I'll put a maybe a flat base so the grass, because I have it elevated up really high right now. It will go down a little bit, but um, yeah, that's that's about it.